Good morning everybody, Robert Jones back with another cooking video for you guys. So I decided that as the holidays are coming around that I would th talk about making Thanksgiving dinner. And for a lot of you this can be a daunting task. So what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd make a series of videos where I break down each one of the recipes and then we'll have another video where we talk about the timing and how to make it all happen on the day. So depending on how many dishes you're making, how many people you're trying to feed, all that kind of good stuff. So today we're going to start with the first video in the Thanksgiving series and today is going to be pumpkin pie. Everybody love pumpkin pie. If you remember we made the puree uh, a video or two ago. So we've got the puree and we're going to do that. And then we're gonna make a crust first, and then I'll show you how to make the custard filling. So it is a custard because it is eggs and milk. It does have the pumpkin in it, but it's still considered to be a custard. So anything with eggs and milk um, cooked in a pie is a custard. Um, what else to tell you about pumpkin pie? I think we all know. Pumpkin pie, we love it. Watch, check it out. Okay, you guys, we've got our work surface here. And for those of you who asked, guess what? We're doing another food processor recipe. Okay, you guys, so this is an easy way to do pie crust. So you've got your food processor. If you don't have a food processor, by all means, you can use your old fashioned, I have my grandma's pastry cutter here. You guys can see that. This is what cuts the butter up or the fat. I'm trying to make sure you can see the blades. But we're gonna do it the modern way, which is to use the food processor. We're going to use a different kind of blade today. It's called a dough blade. It's plastic, it's sharp, but it's not for chopping. It's just for mixing. So we're gonna put that in there. We're going to put in our flour. Now, so to this, let me make sure I read the right thing. We're going to put two and a half cups of flour. So I'm gonna put about half the flour first. And then you're gonna add one cup of chopped up butter that is cold. I just got this out of the fridge. I'm going to put that in there and it's cut up. It's cut up so that it chops in easier. And then I'm going to put the other half of the flour. Then we have three quarters teaspoon salt. Salt makes it taste good. And we also have one tablespoon of sugar, just white sugar plain. Then we're going to put our top on. Close it up. Now, normally mine has a thing that goes in here. Oh, there it is. Boop. And then we're just gonna pulse it. We wanna pulse it because the idea is to chop the pieces of fat, in this case butter, into small pieces. Then we're gonna add some water. Water's in the fridge. We're gonna add some water, which is gonna bring the dough together. But the reason we want the fat to be in chunks, that's what gives us our flakes. It's the pieces of butter between the piece of glutinous pastry. Give it a check. Let's see how we're doing. All right, if you guys can see, it's making nice. Can you guys see those little? They're nice little balls of butter. So I'll show you. Nice little chunks of butter like that. That's exactly what we want. It's the size of a pea. So that when our dough gets mixed, again we have the pieces of fat between it. Okay, literally it is that fast. So now we're going to put our lid back on, and we're going to pour in our water a little bit at a time. So this is six tablespoons of ice cold water. I just pulled it out of the freezer. Okay, now we're gonna pour it out on the surface. I'm just gonna take the bowl off, move the machine. This is a nice clean surface, like a board. Sure we get it all. All right. Now the idea here is to mix this as little as possible. So we just want it to come together as a full dough. All right. Just my hands a little bit. And then we're just pressing. Just a little bit at a time. It looks like a mess. Don't worry. It'll come together. Just together. It's not bread. Don't eat it. Just 
Now, it has been really dry here this week. I mean, really dry. So I might have to add a little bit to this. We'll see. Again, we're just folding it over, just a little bit at a time. And that's it. Just as soon as it can come together like that, it's done. So what we're going to do is I'm going to divide this in three parts. We're going to divide this in three parts. We're going to put it in parchment. We're going to put it in the fridge for a little bit to, to cool the butter back down. And then we're going to roll it out. Trying to make sure these are even. Okay, I think I made a mistake a little bit ago and I said parchment, we're going to put it in plastic. That way it doesn't dry out. And again, the reason we're putting this back in the fridge just make it like this into a disc, something flat and roundish, just to harden the butter back up. Okay, you guys, we're continuing on with our pumpkin pie here, now that our crust is made. So the first thing we're going to put in here in the bowl is uh, 3 quarters cup of brown sugar. Now, I already measured out the brown sugar because I have a giant bag, but I don't think I've ever talked to you guys about packing the brown sugar. And the reason you pack it, which means that when you scoop it out of the bag or whatever you're getting, you really force it into the cup like that. Not necessarily heaping, but so that when you pump it out, it should hold its form. And the reason you do that is brown sugar tends to um, not measure tightly together. So when you measure it, in order to get the right amount of sugar, you got to push it together. So in there, we have three quarters cup of brown sugar. To that, we are going to add two cups of pumpkin puree. If you guys remember, we made this in a video or two ago. I'm going to show you how to get it out of the bag really easy. Just cut the corner and squirt two cups in. Now we know it's two cups because we measured it when we put it in the bag. How easy is that? You are more than welcome to use the canned stuff. Please, by all means, if you don't have pumpkin like I do, use the canned stuff because it's, it's a good product and it tastes good. And we don't want you to not make pumpkin pie. Okay, two cups of pumpkin. To that, we're going to add two eggs, just regular eggs, large eggs. No shells. Half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of ginger, ground, dry. An eighth of a teaspoon of cloves. More if you like, but it's really strong. And then, of course, one of cinnamon. One teaspoon of cinnamon. That's it. Except for 12 ounces of evaporated milk. Now, you don't have to use evaporated milk. I like it because it's rich and creamy, but you can use just regular whole milk. If you do use this, make sure you shake it. And put the whole thing in. All right, you got everything in the bowl. Now just mix it up. So I start by trying to make sure the yolks are mixed. Now, as I said in the intro, remember that this is a custard. A custard means that it's made out of eggs and milk. And as we all know, when eggs cook, they firm up. You guys see that? It looks like a lot, but don't worry. So mine is a little bit more liquidy then yours probably will if you use the canned pumpkin because it's going to be thick. But don't worry about that. I've adjusted some stuff so it's going to it's going to firm up. If yours is liquid, I should just tell you this. If yours is liquid pumpkin like mine and not packed thick, I just add an extra egg. So that's the way when the custard cooks, it will be more firm. Okay. That's it. You pour it in the pie shell and cook it. Here is our dough from the fridge. As you can see, it's gotten pretty stiff. So we're going to start rolling this out. Now, the reason I have three is I'm doing the pumpkin pie and the apples at the same time here. But you guys will understand. So, okay, so let's make a pumpkin pie. Take your disc, put it down on your parchment. 
And the idea, you can do it two ways. You can do it like that, you can do it like this. Let's try this method. So, here's our pie plate. We've got a nice thick pie plate because I like a nice thick custard. So we're going to try to make it a little bit bigger than this so that when it goes down in there, it'll fill it all the way in. We'll have a little bit of crust on the edge. All right, just slowly, because it is stiff, slowly roll this out. The handles are useless if you ask me. And then I just, oh, I have a piece of parchment under here and I have a flower or a piece of plastic. So as I roll this out, I can turn the whole thing. Little bit at a time, don't have to rush. You can see the nice layers of butter in there. I don't like a super thick crust. I like a crust that's just there to hold the custard together. Not really thin, not really much. Take your time. Now, here's the thing about crust. You can buy one in the store. I don't care. I know that we have limited amount of time to do things, but I will tell you this. If you make yours from scratch, like this, it will taste so much better. It will taste amazing. Um, manufacturers don't take the time to put butter and make it delicious like this. It's kind of hard to make it round here. And straighten the plastic. Like that, it's kind of cute. That would be your daily yoga. Do you guys do yoga? My wonky board here. Alright, how are we getting? We're getting there. Kevin, if you're watching, you are the pro at this. Okay, remember this is a homemade pie. It doesn't have to look perfect. It just has to be good. Okay, so we got our pie plate. Looks about right. So here's what I'm gonna do. Plastic off will be better first. Alright, so plastic off. Then pie plate on and flip. Okay, for the next one, we're going to put a little flour next time. And voila! Now, it's a little longer on this side, so I'm going to see if I can scoot it over a little bit. Maybe I can scoot it down and over. And again, this is a very, this is a very deep pie plate, so I'm not worried about having giant crust on the outside. I'm more worried about having crust inside. Okay, so then I'm gonna take a knife, and here's an old wise trick. So you take it like this, and kind of just slice it off the top. Clean up the edge, like this. Can you guys see that? Oh, where am I here? There we are. Clean up the edge. Now here's where you can get fancy. Take your fingers like this, and then just push with your other finger and make a scalloped edge. We're making a scalloped edge. We have a full scalloped edge. Now mind you, this is not over the top because this is a giant pie pan. Look how deep it is. So when this comes out, it's gonna be delicious. So what we're gonna do, we have our pumpkin, give it another stir, and we're gonna pour it in here. Look how full that is. I think we're gonna make it. We gotta put it on a flat surface. There we go. Here is our pumpkin pie. I'm going to put this in the oven and I'll put the instructions down below on how, how long and how hot. And then we'll see what this looks like and you guys will get to taste it with me. Oh, here's a trick. Put that on a, a sheet tray so if it bubbles over, it doesn't destroy your oven. There you go. Okay, you guys, I just went and checked my recipe because I wanted to make sure I had this right. So this is going to go in the oven at 425 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes, and then it's going to go down to 350 for 40 to 50 minutes after that. So this is a lot of liquid, and we really want it to set. And while we're at it, do you have one of these? Get yourself an electronic timer. Seriously, get yourself a timer. Set the timer for 15 minutes go and put it in the oven. See you in an hour.
Okay, you guys, it's the time you've all been waiting for. We've got pie. Okay, so I had some friends over last night, and, well, some pie got eaten. I didn't get to try it, but I gave them some pie. So, let's get to tasting this. Pie time. All right. Keep looking at the camera. Look at that. There is a piece of pumpkin pie to be proud of. A little whipped cream. Let's give it a taste. That is good. Now just a reminder, I grew the pumpkin, we cooked the pumpkin, we made the pie of the pumpkin, and now we enjoy the pumpkin. This is a really good old-fashioned recipe. Just to show you guys again, the pie is not real bright orange because it's not canned pumpkin. What you're seeing mostly is the light color and the spices. Another bite. Mm. Make this. You will enjoy it. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a pumpkin pie on your own and from scratch. I hope you try this and try it with a butter crust. I mean, you can make it with shortening. But if you can have butter, why not? It's a natural product. It's not hydrogenated oil, crazy, whatever, made from whatever. It's from a cow, so you know what it is. I hope you try this at home. I'd love to see some pictures. What did you make? Did you make a pie? Try it. Thanks, you guys, for watching. As usual, like and subscribe down below. If you'd like to find me on Facebook or wherever else, it's Eudaimonius Mark II, E-U-D-A-E-M-O-N-I-U-S, Mark, M-A-R-K, II. I, I. Thanks, you guys. Hope you have a good Thanksgiving. Take care. Thank you.